Where is the package? Do you know what type of trouble I will get in if that package does not get found? <laughs> You're too old to be doing that. <laughs> Mike sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. Alright, welcome back to the night shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late and so are we. It's time to clock in. As you could probably tell, we are not in Kansas anymore, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, we just land in SLC Salt Lake City, Utah, where the Mormons go to play. Drum roll, uh, Sophia Chugranis. That was a good pronunciation. You guys remember her from the Joshua Tree vlog where she pulled up with her stupid dog. <gasps> All the way from Argentina, her name is Mika La Fuente. Yes! You don't need to do all that. You don't need to do all that. <laughs> Say something uh, in Spanish for the Spanish speaking audience. Hola chicos, me estoy cagando de frío. Mal. Basically, what she said is, What's up, guys? I'm very cold and that's bad. Yeah. Dude, I'm getting so good with the Spanish, bro. <laughs> Yo, what up, YouTube? Welcome to my crib. Sundance Film Festival. I'm sure you've seen the movies, the beginning of the movies. Official Sundance Film Festival winner. Alex Swift, my wonderful, I, I don't use the word assistant, colleague here at the night shift. I don't know the word assistant, I don't mind it. I know, I just, I like. Exactly to, what I am. She's an aspiring actress. So when I was planning the Sundance trip, I called Alex and I said. Do you wanna go to Sundance with me? And what was your response? I was like, are you serious? Like, fuck yeah, I wanna go. Listen, it's no surprise. I roll around with David. He's been everywhere, bro. He's been on every private jet. He's banged every fucking prostitute from here to Seoul, South Korea. You know, I was showing the ropes properly. Okay. Maybe not the right word. Ropes? By Logan. Jesus Christ! Well, to, oh it, one of the first things I ever did with Logan was a big Sundance event with George and Alyssa Violet and Chantel Jeffries. So now I'm... No, you're giving, the yes, look at this, bro. I don't think I've ever seen a full contact one before, top to bottom. These things fall from the roofs and actually kill people. And that fell, it would drive directly into your cranium, through See your brain. Sharp it is. Look at that guy right there. Oh, that would make, that would, you can kill someone with this. What's going on? Well, I just heard you talk yelling in Spanish. We were, oh. Cause I gotta understand, I've seen Breaking Bad. Yeah, that was about the package that's lost somewhere around the state. See, I heard her on the phone like, where is the package? Do you know what type of trouble I will get in if that package does not get found? And I asked her, I'm like, what package are you looking for? She was like, it's just a package. Why are you so fucking inquisitive? Cause it's my dad's. Is your dad's name Pablo Escobar by any chance? <laughs> or El Chapo? Tell them where you're from. Buenos Aires, Argentina. We just won the football World Cup. Tell them who the goat of all goats of football is. Messi. There's a guy, his name's I Show Speed, and he believes that Cristiano Ronaldo is the greatest of all time. He's stupid. Wow. And now a word from our sponsors. In a Elizabeth, what are you doing here? Hey, my nice shirt, huh? Yeah, it's Chucky. It's my. Th well, it was Chucky. Yeah, where'd you get it? Well, I got it from Culture Kings. It's a mer. Where'd I get the shirt from? Where'd I get the shirt from, buddy? David, listen, you got it at Culture Kings, but who's filming? <laughs> I got it at Culture Kings. I got it at Culture Kings. Where'd you get the shirt from? I got it at Culture Kings. Where's the shirt from? I got it at Culture Kings. Do they have a shirt from the Matrix? I got it at Culture Kings. Culture. Mike, Mike, wake up. You got a podcast. I was just having the strangest dream. About what? I don't know, but I just feel like I should tell everybody that they can get all the shirts that they know and love from Culture Kings, and you can get a discount on them at the link in the description below. Let's get back to the night shift, baby. What are you chefing up, Al? So I'm making some eggs, but the real, the real exciting part is the French toast. And then we got bacon, and we got crispy and like chewy, depending if you're a psychopath or if you have good taste. Dude, if you woke Slow me motion. up with this, dude, I would be living life. So, Mika, I got breakfast for you guys. Who is it? Describe yourself to me. What the fuck are you doing here, man? I, I, I'm sorry, my eyes are stitched closed. You're gonna have to be a little more specific. Hey, hey, who is this? Go to the hospital. What are you doing in the house? I paid for this fucking house. This is not your room. Who is speaking? Is this, is your name Karen? It sounds like a Karen. It's... Oh, whoa, whoa, bro, don't slap my face. Too far. I know you're watching White Lotus. Watch White Lotus. What do you got, season one or two? Season one. Sydney Sweeney crushes it. Stay in here, enjoy yourself. So you just barged in here, woke me up to yell at me and say stay and go back to sleep? Oh, okay. All right. 
That's nice. Now we're talking. Is this Pearl the pig right here? <laughs> <laughs> what you just said didn't make me feel good, but that's okay because I know you feel even worse. Enjoy the room. It's a shame what you did to that pig. <laughs> but let me tell you. Just leave the girls alone. I'm shooting content with them. Just leave them out of it, all right? Okay. Jeff, Sorry. it's time for your sponge bath. Wow. Are you ready? Wow. Okay. Uh, Mike, can you get out, yeah. please? please. What, what, what's happening right now? Uh, you, you have to take care of Jeff. Yeah. You gotta go. No, 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 but skiing today, I have a whole day of content planned out. Those We're, don't look like ski outfits, those look like nurse outfits. Yeah, yeah. Do you guys mind if I stay though? I don't have anything else to do. Everybody no. that I brought. We do mind actually. You gotta go. Yeah. Looks like you gotta go, buddy. <laughs> Okay, Sundance Film Festival, we are here where all the new films for 2023 are playing before they go into theaters. It's really dope. Just more just entertaining stuff to make you forget about your problems. Hey, hey, you watch it. You watch your mouth. See, even that guy was mad. You already said? He's a grow up. Grow up. All right, dude, what do you want me to fucking do? Starting next week, I'm starting a politically driven news program. That's what you get. That's what you fucking get, dude. Grow up. We're at a towel pop-up. It's a big, big night, okay? I know you ruined my trip and showed up here out of nowhere, but me and my guys wanted to show you support on this trip. So we've got all your Jeff's Barbershop merchandise on. Very cool. And we just want to let you know that we're here to support you. Thank you. And we hope that you have a, a quick recovery and we love you. And, and by the way, great materials. It was this made in America. It feels wonderful. Quality stuff made in USA, not that fucking low gang shit that you got. <laughs> okay, to listen. Let's get out there in the snow. Come on. We'll get back to this YouTube -y shit uh, once we do this <laughs> fucking man stuff. Let's go. Come on. I don't care, bro. I have thousands. <laughs> do it. It's your hat. Bro, that's fucked up. That's fucked yeah. up. Yeah. Keep talking shit, you get a s'more hat. Look, it's a fucking s'more. You can't take that back. Okay, okay, that's okay, listen. So. Now you're gonna wear that hat. That burn on it. <laughs> like a homeless fucking heroin, ex-heroin. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a... <laughs> this isn't tough, you picking on a fucking crippled guy. I'll still fuck you up like this, too. See that? Didn't even flinch. Yeah. I know what type of power you have in those fucking scrawny ass arms. And I'm trained by the best the weekends. Dog pound and train with influencer models. <laughs> Don't you ever talk about dog pound like That's that. And get your man. fucking cronies out of my shoe. <laughs> get out. Have you seen his desktop? Show him your desktop. Look at his fucking desktop! That's a serial killer! We do special effects and stuff. It's not just bullshit. You shoot with one camera. We do documentaries. Whatever, I'm proud of that. Nice switcherooski, buddy. And by the way, the night shift represents the average man, the common man who only has one videographer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. so, so, okay, so it's authenticity that matters, all right. all right? Wim Hof, the cold is your friend. Cold is your friend. No, nope. the cold is your friend. No, nope. Kyle, do it, do it, do it. Hey, Kyle, you're not even in it. Ah! Now, what did you want to do, Mike? Yo, why'd you get out? I was- Oh! <laughs> oh he got hugged. All right, for the rest of the day, all we're gonna do is adult activities. So this is how you get to the top of the tubing hill. There's like a, a conveyor belt that you stand on with your tube, and then you're gonna go down it on a tube, basically. This whole episode's really been about trying to defend myself from the ridicule that I feel on a daily basis. You know, I have feelings too. So the only thing I can think to do is just it's just two. You got anything you want to say to the camera? Um, I love Florida. Nice. Me too. Dude, they're going fast, bro. Are you guys ready for this action? Not really. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my. Oh, this is so much faster. Whoa, so exciting. So crazy. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we can get into on this week's vlog. Lately, there's been this uh, push, this concern on the internet. It's almost like uh all the guys became PTA moms. I don't know who exactly started this trend, but talking to hot girls and having hot girls in your content is bad. It's haram. I want to give you guys watching this episode the chance right now to decide. We can talk politics. We can talk about how to create the best possible you, or we can eat these donut holes in the hot tub with these hot chicks. Aren't you freezing? That's... Yeah, I'm cold, but I'm waiting for permission from them. Now they got all these podcasts out there, all these guys that are like, this is what's breaking down males in the world. Like, we need stronger men. I grew up on Howard Stern. I grew up on Hugh fucking Hefner. So I don't want to talk about fucking how to raise a family. <clears throat> One of you, you guys want to raise a family? Of course. Yes. 
Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I need to, right now, I want the viewer of this episode to feel like they're in the hot tub with us. Here we go. Woo! Three, two, one. Yeah, buddy. How's it feel to be in the hot tub with us? Now just pretend there's a fourth person with us. So then anyways, I said to the guy, wrecked him, damn near killed him. <laughs> What'd you think of that one? I know, right? There's just something about waking up bright and early, birds chirping, you know, this fresh snow on the ground, some bacon crippling, cr cr crippled bacon in the pan. I'm not really awake yet, guys. I'm about to go skiing. It's one of my favorite pastimes. Uh, when I was a kid, I actually broke my femur in, uh, in half. I went off a jump uh, with these things called ski boards. They were popular back in the day. They don't release when you fall, so I fell, and uh, when I woke up, there, I was in a pool of blood, and my my ski boot was right here next to my head and I looked and that was the last thing I saw before I was putting traction and they stuck a rod into my left femur which is still there to this day. And so I'm basically just a battered body who is like a bobsled going down the hill uh, uh, as, a, as a corpse. It makes me feel like I'm still alive. Sometimes I feel like I'm not because I utilize so much narcotics that I fried, fried most of my brain receptors. I can't even really speak English anymore. We are at the Montage in Deer Valley right now. Ski in, ski out, hotel, restaurant, apres ski. This is the place to be, I don't know how else to put it. Look at this by the way. 16 degrees out here right now, so the Montage has a place called Burgers and Bourbon. You know, it would have been nice to have Jeff Wittick with us. He's under the influence of heavy narcotics right now because of his surgery. I was able to find a replacement. Absolutely crazy. I'm also under the influence of heavy narcotics, but no, I'm just kidding. That is not <laughs> true. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Tana Monjow. Monjow. I came down, I see what looks like a woman giving one of the lift operators head. You're I look so up. fucking annoying. What? <laughs> would you go ahead and say that you're a night shift viewer? I'm. I'm the 7%, bitch. I, know. I literally just said that for my vlog. I am, the night shift is my favorite thing ever. I have wanted to do a burger review forever. Also, I've always said that a hoe never gets cold, but it's fucking freezing <laughs> here. So Burgers and bourbon house burger. It's just an Angus patty, an aged white cheddar, lettuce, tomato, a ton of onions. I How took them off, cause you... I'm Jeff. I'm being Jeff today. And then it's got a ketchup and a Dijon mustard on it. I was gonna lick it off his finger. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time our saliva's met. Anyways. Oh, um, Mikey, Mikey, Mikey. This is a momentous occasion. I'm, I'm very so excited happy. for you. You look I really hot today, by thank the way. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. My hair is hot. <laughs> Super gourmet. A little bit different than what we're used to eating on the channel. Your first burger, what oh. are you going to rate it? Nice bun, nice sauce, that aged white cheddar. I'm going to have to give it a 10 out of 10. Oh, wow. <laughs> 10 out of 10, baby. Nice, an homage. <laughs> Super fresh brioche bun. I like that. Got that bakery, that Dusseldorf, you know, feel to it. <laughs> um, that might be a medium well. I asked medium, that's all right. Everything on it is, is, is fresh, and that's what you would expect here. These kind of people, they're not going to go for no mildewy. Vegetables. No one in Park City with a $50 million house that, is that, eating a McDouble. These are like some rosemary fries, aioli dipping sauce. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the, art, the sauce. sauce the, is ass. But the fries <laughs> are really good. Just do one without. This is an easy one for me. I'm gonna go Montage Deer Valley House Burger at Burgers and Bourbon. Beautiful setting. I mean, there's a heated pool right there, a fire right here. They give you blankets outside. The service is absolutely incredible. Rate the goddamn what burger. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 6.5. 6.5. Predicted your ratings before you do it. Look at Paige. Rating before we eat the burger. I'm gonna say I 6.5. <laughs> How did you know that? <laughs> idea. I'm just good at guessing. Very fitting coming off the end of a ski trip. The uh, lifts are closed. I want to talk for a second. I want to say something. There's been a theme this week to this video. People telling me to grow up. I've seen these comments. Find a wife. Settle down. Have a family. You're 38 years old. And uh, maybe they're right. Some people do have to grow up. Some people have families. They have jobs. They have things they have to do. There's this thing that happens on the internet nowadays where everybody has an opinion about everybody else on things that just don't even affect I feel like I don't have to say this to the Night Shift audience because I feel like you guys already know this. But to anybody watching this that like goes on the internet and sees people live in a certain way and gets like intimately upset about it, you need to change the way you're living your fucking life. It's such a waste of time. It's such an exercise in futility to care that much about what other people are doing. I live my life a little differently than everybody else and that's fine. Maybe you want to live a traditional life. Maybe you want to settle down by 23, have a child, you know, spend your weekends at the Mets games with your family. I love that for you. That's incredible. But that's not how I live my life. There's a saying out there, live and let live. And as long as what other people 
are doing isn't affecting you, isn't affecting the livelihood of you and your family, uh, then it shouldn't bother you. Live your life the way you want to live it and uh, love every second of it. <laughs> and that's where I'm at. That's it for this week's episode. That's it for the ski trip to Deer Valley. I'll see you guys next week on uh, the next shift of the night shift. Thanks so much for working late with us for clocking out. Peace. And as fast as it goes, what the fuck? And you guys mind if I stay for a few yeah, minutes? No, or? no, no. Oh, you're, we, you're gonna stay and watch. I gotta ask you guys a question. It's real important. Can I ask you a question first? What you just said was in English. Toyota's are great cars. More reliable than your Range Rover, that's for sure. My Range Rover doesn't even play music. Comes out of the night shift audience. <laughs> Wait, hey, buddy. What are you doing, man? Bro. What in the hell? This guy's out of his mind. Nico, yes or no? How do you deal with him all day long? Nico, <laughs> yes or no? And you've lived in the house with him? <laughs> so, uh... If there was a night shift member here, what would you say to him? Probably... nothing. Maybe put these bright ass lights on to film this. Look at how fucking bright it is. I know my eyes stitch oh, shut. So I can't really see the light, but still, nobody would sleep in, in this type of environment. Look at how bright that fucking light is. Dude, I'm gonna be honest with you, there's nothing you can say to me in Spanish that I don't know. Like, test me right now. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Easy translation. Do you know how much this house costs? Do you know how much my eyeball costs? Odio el frío, la paso mal, tengo hambre, dormí todo el vuelo, eh, tengo dos perros. It's really cold, but if I have some Doritos, I'll then go hang out with some dogs. I don't even know the line. What are you doing? Bro, I well, tattoo removal on the <laughs> <laughs> You need one of these. That was ridiculous. <laughs> These Latinas are very dangerous. It's a known fact. Not. Yeah, you are. We and then I wake up and one of you guys got a knife food. to my throat. Like, who the fuck is she? <laughs> <laughs>